hygiene, disease and everyday resistance. This subject has been a very interesting phase when it comes to wear. What happened? Hygiene, disease and everyday resistance. So when I talk about hygiene, disease and everyday resistance, so French people want to build modern cities. They want to have modernization in Vietnam. So in this process of civilizing the people of Vietnamese, they have brought a new outlook in their traditional outfit. They change them. They ask to change their hairstyles. They ask them to reduce their long hairs into short hairs. So all these things step by step when they started to initiate the process and change them. Later on, they want to build huge cities, very, very big mansions, buildings, apartments, in order to have that modern outlook for the city. So, in this process of building a modern city, they have chosen a city called Hanoi. This Hanoi has been the most important city of Vietnam where they have built the beautiful structures. So Hanoi has two different phases. One is the modern city which was built by the French people and the buildings are very tall and it has been a very good well structured sewage system means the underground drainage system where the passage of the water also cannot be seen on the upper layers of the road. So they have completely underground drainage system, clean, well planned, well executed. So as the time passed on, the other phase, the other part of Honai, where the people are a common people, the traditional people of Vietnam, they rejected completely to abandon their houses and move from that place to another places, where they have the drainage canals passing through nearby to them, where they had the open drainage canals. And during the times of rains, this drainage water steps into the trees, streets and all the other places. So the situations are completely opposite. It's like two sides of the same coin in Honai. One place is well structured, well organized, tall, tall buildings, highly well built mansions, structured underground drainage system, well planned roads, everything is one side, built by the French people in the process of modernization of Vietnam. The other side of Vietnam is the localites of Vietnam, traditionally coming from poor backdrop, could not enhance their housing capacities and closely living side of a drainage canal passage sewage. And this drainage water is extensively flowing. When it overflows during the rainy season, this water gets onto the streets and even the houses of these people are being filled with the waste water or the contaminated water of coming from the drainage canals. This is the actual phase. Now that's the hygiene what they have built. The French people were very well advanced and very well planned. They want clear and a hygiene state or a region where they have very good neatness which leads to healthy atmosphere in the country. But we have the other side of the Hanai also. Moving on to the spread of the disease, in 1903, the disease called plague hit Honai. So when the disease of plague was being hit Honai and many people were started to lose their lives, the actual cause or how does the plague spread? The researches were made and they discovered that plague spreads through rats. Plague spreads through rats. So, in order to stop the growth of the rats, the Vietnamese localites were asked to catch the rats and if you catch rat, you will be paid for that. So, on the basis of every rat, they would be paid for that. So, this was the actual step taken by the French government to stop the growth of plague and also to arrest 
its expansion. While the Vietnamese people are being paid to catch every rat, the people of Vietnam started to think in the other lines because it has been a source of income for them. So they started to catch the number of rats daily, but they also started to grow the number of rats. It's really a funny thing, but actually this is a really true fact which happened actually. Initially, French want to stop the growth of rats, but the Vietnamese people learned that this is a source of income for them. So they started to grow rats at their houses and sometimes they used to bring only the, the tails of the rats which is mandatory for them to get their payments. So they used to get cut only the tail and leave the rat open. Well, again so that they can catch it again and again they can earn certain amount of income for that. So this kind of slipped and split ideology of the Vietnamese made the city of Honai not a hygiene but a plague city because the rats do live in the drainage regions or the wastelands and the drainage canals which are passing by the houses of the uh, Vietnamese people are also associated with the lands which are having well structured buildings or underground well planned sewage system. So this underground sewage system acted as a well built transport system for the rats. The rats used to travel very secretly through the underground sewage pipes and they used to go from one house to the other house comfortably and conveniently because every house you would have a sewage canal and the pipeline system was there. So through the drainage canal system in the underground they used to enter into the houses of the rich people or the well built houses of the modernization structure. So in 1902 to 1904 the number of rats that were caught by the Vietnamese were more than 20,000. So if 20,000 rats were caught that would obviously should result in the less or the number of rats to be diminishing. But here the number has not been diminished because people started to grow the rats because it is a source of income for them. And the other tragic thing is rats also learn how to manage the things because they are having well planned transport system for them. So this move of people can be considered as an everyday resistance for what the ideology of hygiene and disease eliminated regions what the France want or the, what the French government want was not liked by the people and also why civilization modernization all these were being initiated by French government but people of Vietnam strongly resisted all these things by their moves by their actions by their participation in catching of the rats at the same time in procuring the rats in increasing the rats number obviously made it very clear that French people failed in bringing civilization to the people and French people also failed in getting modernization to the leap in the Vietnam. So always force do not work. The cooperation of the people also is necessary. So the cooperation of the people do not come by force or by fear. It should come by willingly participation. This is what happened in the scene of hygiene, disease and everyday resistance. So we can understand it very clearly that their people are completely opposite to the colonial masters on this issue and it's really a funny to have a rats being grown but it is a true fact the Vietnamese did this thing to oppose the actions of the French government and also they are being paid for these services. So somehow French people failed to get modernization and civilization into the deep roots of Vietnam people because it is breaking the native tradition and the culture of the Vietnamese. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.